Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the NFLHouse.com. Uh, my name is Eric Galco. I'm the owner and director of the NFLHouse.com. Joey Hanos joins me today. Joey, how are you today? Good. How are you doing? Good. Very good. Now, for our listeners who may not know, Joey's a top tight end prospect from Mar- the Maryland Terrapins. And I know you walked on at Maryland. Uh, did you receive any other offers to play any uh, other colleges besides Maryland? Uh, not for football. I received an offer to play basketball at Campbell University in North Carolina. Uh, what made you stick with football and go to Maryland? I was close to home. And I, I always had a dream of playing in the ACC, playing football. So I uh, decided to stay close to home instead of going down to Campbell to play basketball. Yeah. Now, now at Maryland, you played uh, you played steadily from your sophomore year to your senior season, um, especially coming especially coming in the very end as you had 22 catches in your last six games, and you're also a John Mackey watch list uh, on the John Mackey watch list in 2007. But over your entire college career, what's your most memorable moment? Uh, it would have to be when we went down to Death Valley, Clemson, uh, my junior season, and uh, Sam Hollenbeck led us on a two-minute drive to win the game, and we kicked the last second field goal uh, to take Clemson down there. That was just a, a great experience. Yeah. Now, a few years back, you had a physical specimen on your team by the name of Vernon Davis, who was right. playing tight end. Uh, he went six overall to the 49ers. What was he like, and uh, how did you how did you have, how did it feel to have to replace him? Um, he was a great guy, just you know, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He was modest, even though he had no reason to be. Um, and he was a good mentor because he taught me that hard work really, really pays off. But as far as replacing him, you know, I, I, it was nerve wracking because you know I was filling such a, a void in the offense, but also it was like. People didn't expect me to do what he did, so I think when I came out my junior season and had, you know, over 30 catches and over 30 yards and a couple touchdowns, people didn't, you know, didn't expect that from me, so they thought I, I did more than I, I was supposed to, so in, in that regard, it was, you know, a little a little better than most people expected. Yeah, after the season, you went to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. Uh, what was that experience like? Uh, it's... I, very intense experience. I've you know, never experienced anything like it. You know, you get there and it's pretty much nonstop for four days, poking and prod and interviewing and doing all the physical mm-hmm. tests. So when I was done, I was very glad to be done. But it's definitely an experience. I'm glad I did, and it was a great opportunity. Yeah. How, how do you think you did? I think I did very well. Um, my 40 wasn't as fast as I would have liked, but it still wasn't terrible. So. But so other than that, you know, I, I did well in all the other drills, and I, I did very well in the uh, tight end position drills. So I was, I was really happy with my performance. Yeah, no, no tight end really stood out at the combine besides Justin Keller having all those uh, ridiculous numbers. But other than that, it, it seemed pretty, pretty even keel. Um, I know at the combine, you know, rumors are swirling about who likes who. Did any team show extra interest in you, or was it kind of just general all the way around? Well, at the combine, I met with a couple teams, uh, you know, with the GMs and the head coaches and offense coordinators, uh, and, and, you know, it was three teams, so obviously they had a little more interest in me than the other uh, 29 teams, so, it, yeah, there were some teams that showed a little more interest. Yeah, now, now, Joe, what do you think are the best aspects of your game? Uh, I'd say my, my best aspect is my possession receiving. I feel I, I catch a lot of first downs and get some nice chunk yardage uh, on offense to, to keep the chains moving. Now, what do you think you can improve on either prior to the draft or after you get drafted? Uh, I, I need to improve on running after the catch, and uh, definitely I can always improve on blocking. You know, I think I'm a good blocker, and I got it done on the college level, but in the NFL, I'm definitely going to need to improve. Yeah, on that note, your size and frame is are huge. I'm big enough to play like a left tackle or right tackle in the pros. Um, do you think you could make that switch in the pros, and would you be open to if the team asked you to move due to that? I would definitely be open to it, uh, but, you know, I, like I said before, I have enough trouble staying around 260 pounds, so I don't know how I could get up to 300 or whatever it takes to play left and right tackle in the NFL. Yeah. Now, how do you think you compare... To the other top tight ends uh, in this draft, you know, Fred Davis, Dustin Keller, Martin Rucker, John Carlson, how do you feel you compare to them in any way? Uh, you know, I think it's a great group of tight ends this year. You know, there's no, there's probably not going to be any top 10 tight end picks, but everybody is 
pretty equal to, to one another. You know, Fred from USC, I got a lot of exposure, and he's, he's a great tight end. But, uh, you know, I think athletically I'm up there with them all, and I think I'll prove that I'm as good a receiving tight end as anybody. Yeah, just a few questions to end on. Who was the player you liked as a kid? The player I liked as a kid? Yes. I like anybody who was a Redskin, really, but uh, <laughs> I really like Joe Montana for some reason. You know, I guess I read his book when I was young, and I just I really liked him a lot. So always like Joe Montana. And but my, my all-time favorite would have to be Art Monk from the Redskins. Yeah. And finally, what is the one thing you want the NFL world to know about you? Just that you know I can I can play and. You know, whatever team I get on, I'm, I'm going to catch a lot of first downs and hopefully touchdowns and become a starter in the NFL. All right, great. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And good luck in your future with the NFL. Thank you. And that was Joey Hanos, uh, top tight end prospect in the upcoming NFL draft. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for visiting NFLhouse.com.